morning well i've kind of been up already for a minute that's why i'm just chilling on my couch but i'm about to get ready and start hey oh shit it's my alarm <laughs> all right so right now i'm about to um i'm about to make my bed because it is a mess so i'm about to change my sheets make my bed and get my day started wow this is crazy and it's all okay so i just got out the shower um and make my bed, clean my room a little bit, and then I'm going to get ready, put some makeup on, do my hair, and about to look cute. And then I'll show you all my outfit. So I just got done making my bed, and now I'm about to do my makeup. I'm probably gonna record that just a little bit, and my hair so that y'all can see. And probably gonna make some breakfast because it's 11:30. And then yeah, pretty much. I don't know what else I'm gonna do today because there's really nothing to do. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, so my battery is about to die, so um, I wanted to fill the rest of my makeup routine, but um, I can't do that because I gotta charge my battery. But I'm just gonna put some bronzer, blush, mascara, and do a lip, and then I'll try to record my hair look, and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do for breakfast and stuff so yeah I'll see you guys later okay so my camera did die while I was filming but um so I, so I did my makeup I did my hair and yeah I am wearing this true wins hoodie if y'all don't know um, my family have <laughs> Um, if y'all don't know, my family does have a clothing brand. We are an Inglewood based streetwear. Um, we make a lot of hoodies, shirts, suits, like sweatsuits, um, hats, beanies, all that stuff. And we are located in Hawthorne. I'm gonna put the Instagram down below. And if you guys wanna shop an Inglewood based streetwear, you can check True Ones out. I'm just wearing the hoodie today, so that's my outfit and some Adidas pants. And yeah, I'm chilling. So right now, I'm about to do... What am I going to do? I'm going to do my nails. I'm going to put some press-ons. And yeah, I'm probably going to film myself doing it. So let's get into it. Okay, stop. That'll be on recording. Oh, you Yes. I look crazy, like... Mm -mm. Okay, so I am about to do these press-ons. Um, I haven't really had good experience with doing press. <sighs> I decided to go with French tip. So right now I'm just measuring my nails. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna focus. 
each of the nails have a little number on the bottom and you just measure it onto your nail like this like so and yeah so i'm about to just do that i'm gonna play some music because i'm getting sad up in here Honestly, I'm really upset because I got these nails on Friday and I still too lazy to do them. I sorted them out. I figured which one was going to go on which and then I was too lazy. So I just was like, I'm going to do this another day and now I have to figure them out again. So here I am. The lighting is really bad here, but I sorted the nails out. So that's going to be my thumb and so on and so on. So now I'm just about to glue them on and hopefully... This works out, but it's just a cute little fringe tip, you know. Relachonti for me. So far, I glued one on and I'm not really feeling it. I probably won't even keep it for long, maybe like a day, two or three the most. And then I'll probably pop them off because I'm not trying to ruin my natural nail. So yeah. I'm just going to grab this little file and I'm going to file the ends from where the little clip thingy was. And yeah. Okay, so I just did the second nail and I think I figured out what was wrong with the first one. Um, I just didn't press it down. So I kind of figured out what I did wrong with um, the first nail, which is my thumb. Um, because I just did the second one and it is way better. No air bubbles as for this one who is just not looking right. So you see those air bubbles? This one has like one tiny one, but at least like on the sides, it really doesn't have much. Therefore, it just looks like a cleaner look and won't get any water inside that it could damage my natural nail. So let me finish up these nails and then I'll show you guys the end result. Here, these are my nails. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just about to make a smoothie, um, strawberry and bananas, and we're going to use oat milk, the silk oat milk, which is non-dairy, and the non-dairy yogurt. So now I'm about to get some ice. What's this? This looks like chocolate. Chocolate pudding. Yummy. This is supposed to be the best blender. We're, spon we're not sponsored by Ninja. And then we're going to add the strawberries. I should have cut them in half, but I didn't. So. Then you pour the, the yogurt. Yogurt, right? Mm -hmm. Yogurt in that, that looks like kind of chocolate pudding, and now I want to eat it. I don't know how to make smoothie. Yo, it's my finger. It's my finger. Okay, now that it's all in there. I'm going to add the oat milk. And we're about to just close it. Close it. Can you close it? You have to break the banana, probably. <laughs> and I'll just squish it. Trying to do some 